Hello everyone, I just wanted to make a quick video on R Markdown today. Um, we're receiving a lot of requests. How to write a research paper and insert references using Latex in R. Um, so we've got a wonderful feature in R called R Markdown. Um, and today I'm going to walk you through um, how to write complete research papers in R using R Markdown. Um, the good part is that you have templates already in R that you can get to installing packages for R. So the package that we're going to be using is called um, Papaya. Um, so how you're going to actually download that is that you're going to go to the Papaya GitHub page. So Oop, that's the page for Papaya's GitHub. Um, and it's not yet available on the install packages within R, so you have to manually add that. Um, how you do it is if you go down in the manual, um, and if you haven't already installed Tiny Text, you can install it by copy pasting it into the R window. So you can simply copy paste the code here and press Control Enter and you would have um, Tiny Text installed. Uh, once you have done that, uh, in, to install Papaya, you simply have to copy paste this code and press Control V into the R window and you should be able to download the package. And it also installed the dev tools, uh, which is a necessary package in order to use Papaya. So I already installed it, so I'm not gonna do that. What I will do it, I'll show you how to actually prepare a manuscript within R using the R Markdown. Um, so what you're gonna do is, uh, let me open a new Markdown file. So go on the top pane here, press plus sign and then go to R Markdown. So once you press R Markdown, it's gonna do pop up a window and it's going to ask you uh, name uh, and author of the title. You don't have to press the document here, just go from template. And once you've installed Papaya, you see under Papaya you would have AB Article 6 edition. That is what I'm going to use for the demonstration. So you're going to select that, press OK. So as soon as you do that, you will have a template here. You see it's already formatted for a lot of things. Um, you can add and subtract things that you want to add or you want to take it and take out of the manuscript. Um, so what it does is, um, so for example, let's go ahead and change the titles here. Let's say our demo title is the demo video for our markdown. Then we can have a short title of demo. I can put my name in this fictitious paper as the first author. And I'll just change my email address. And that would do it for it. So after you're done with all the changes that you need, uh, what you have to do is uh, you have to knit the document. So what it does is that you know, it runs the code and formats that into a PDF document. So when you press knit, it's going to start knitting the document. And you can save it and any place on your computer. I'll call it the APA style R markdown and save it. So now I start running the code and it's going to take a while. So we have our APA style file here. And here we have our ready manuscript that you can submit to a journal. So we changed the demo, the short title, and then we have the demo video as the title. I became the first author of this paper and then author's note abstract 
keyword counts, demo methods, participants, and everything that you are supposed to narrate in your journal paper. So that was a quick um, introduction of how to use Markdown uh, also. One more thing that it does is that, you know, if you notice, it also creates a BibTeX database for your Markdown file and also creates a text document, uh, which is the latest document. Um, if you want to add to that document, you can also do that because it creates um, it for you. Uh, if I can just open it for you. So um, this is how it's going to look in the lyrics format. So you have um, those options here. You can do Word and PDF, and you also have the latest version of that. All right, um, that's it for now. Uh, if there's anything else, uh, just let me know, and I will try to figure it out for you. Thank you so much.